What's up everybody, Will Borza here, the LA Recordist. It's the Analog Vlog. It's a vlog. Analog. <laughs> Had some good fun today recording some clarinet and some flute. We're doing a project with Natasha, the singer you met a couple episodes back today. I uh, recorded my roommate Ian on woodwinds. Super fun. I figured I would show you a little bit of some of my microphone technique and just good microphone etiquette when it comes to recording woodwinds, where to put the mics, that type of thing. At the end, I'll show you what we did. So without further ado, here is Ian and myself explaining proper woodwind microphone technique. It's so the idea with recording flute. Yeah. When you're recording your buddy on flute, you want to put the microphone above where he is blowing because you don't want the microphone just to be picking up a bunch of wind. Also, the pop filter helps too. <laughs> See how that works? Listen to this guy, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> For clarinet, the idea is you don't want to put the mic at the bottom of the bell. It's no good. Because that's just like, that's not where the sound comes from. The sound actually comes from the front of the clarinet, right? Yeah, depending on what note it is, it can come out of anywhere. Yeah, Any exactly. combination of places. Exactly. So, if you want a, a lower pitch, darker clarinet, you take the microphone and you put it lower on the instrument. If you want a brighter clarinet, you can put it higher on the instrument. Uh, just don't put it at the bottom. That's not going to be the same. Sometimes if you don't know what you want, then you uh, might put one up towards the top and one more towards the bottom. Yeah. Just for the sake of being able to mix the two up. That'd be Same really with soprano interesting. sax, you know? Uh, it's really common even for live stuff to have a microphone towards the top and a microphone towards the bottom. Because you are yeah. getting sound out of here, it's mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. not a lot unless you're playing the lowest notes. Like... interesting to put an XY stereo mic up and down here so the you know left mic is looking at the low end and right mic is looking at the high end worth a try guys killing session today with who with you you're rocking it this guy knows how to play like every instrument no <laughs> he's lying ish <laughs> he's not telling the truth. It's, it's more accurate than he said. I think this microphone is shot. Uh, I was trying to use it for talkback, and uh, it didn't seem to be doing the job. It says Sure KSM32 on it, but um, it has an interesting grate. It's very tight knit, and my other KSM32s are a little broader. Maybe I can show you. Look at this. There's this guy compared to this guy. See a difference there? It's supposed to be the same microphone. I don't know what's going on. It just, you plug it in, it sounds very scratchy and the audio doesn't really come through as clear. Some of it's test out. Good to know. Good to know not to pack this for a session. I really do like the idea of doing a XY stereo on a saxophone. Maybe use something like this and put it right on the sax so that the uh, left gets the lower and the right gets the higher. Be worth trying out anyway. Something important when you're recording instruments like this, you need to realize that no one actually listens to a saxophone by sticking their ear right next to the bell or for, to the body for that matter. When you listen to a saxophone, you're listening, you know, from five feet back, 10 feet back, 30 feet back. The natural sound of a saxophone to the human ear is not right up against the saxophone. Important part of recording is that, yes, you're recording the instrument, but you're also recording the room that instrument is in. So it's sort of like an 80-20 rule, I think. So Ian wrote two flute lines and two clarinet lines, low and high for each. I had him play uh, high flute once and low flute twice. So we have high flute in the center and low flute on the sides. And then I had him do the opposite with clarinet. So we have two high clarinets on the sides and 
a low clarinet in the middle. Then when I heard that, I'm like, this is not quite complete. What else can we add? So then I was thinking, I really like the low reedy woody end of the clarinet, but he didn't write anything for there. So I said, all right, dude, make up something on the spot. Let's record some really low, deep, thick clarinet. He did. It was awesome. And then, uh, last little, last little bit of, uh, pixie dust, you could call it. I had him record some flute glissandos. So, um, I think you'll hear him in there. I think that just totally makes the part for me. It's my favorite. So without further ado, here is the clarinets and flutes on their own. Part of a bigger project that you will hear in the future. Enjoy. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>